Brilliant. Okay. So I'm going to talk today about the employee benefit side of Sabre CDC because Sabre CDC, we originally set up to just be really for small business so that they could save on their business purchases. And then as we've been beta testing it with people, um, we had a company who said we'd like to maybe expand it into the, our employee benefits. So we thought, well, why not? Let's see what we can do. So I'm going to lead you through this. Hopefully, if a slide will change, it should help. Right, so why employee benefits? Um, well, because um, we all know in the situation in the jobs market at the moment that there are actually more jobs than there are people to fill them. And so it's really important that you make your uh, jobs, that your employment with you attractive. And that should either be to retain your existing staff or indeed to attract new staff. Um, and this was a survey that was done by one of the big employment agencies, which found that 82% of employees said that they'd compare employee benefits in addition to salary when deciding if to search for a new job. Um, so, you know, it, it does have an important part to play in terms of employee retention. Um, why us? Well, because we only work with business. We're exclusively for business. We work only with businesses we don't advertise to, nor do we accept applications to join from individual consumers so we, we've solely focused on the b2b marketplace but it does mean that your employees can continue buying the same things they always buy from the same high street stores although we have over a thousand independent suppliers too as it says in fact we've got over 1300 independent suppliers now and the difference is that they earn cash back on their purchase and that can be anything from one percent right up to 50 60 70 percent or it can be a flat amount of money. We've got one person at mo one company at the moment who are paying £50 for every new person who, who signs up with them. So there's there's all different ways of people getting their cash back. Um, and we have some exclusive deals. So just some examples there, people who have exclusive deals, with the AA, uh, Travel Lodge, Domino's, um, Levat, Surf for Coffee, um Heathrow Airport and and Virgin so we have some good some good, hopefully some good brands there that we have exclusive deals for and that might mean extra cash back it might mean advanced access to sales um it might be some exclusive products which are only available to our members um so all sorts of things there and we're also now just launching a reward point system as well so that and more the more people use the system as well the cash back they build up reward points and those reward points are going to be cashable for certain goodies that we've got coming later in the year. So what's the benefit to the company of doing it? Well, it really, it's minimal extra admin for the company. Um, the company provides us with a list of employees and their contact details, and that's their email address and their mobile phone. We onboard each employee for the, for the company, so the, the company doesn't have to worry about that. We have an opportunity for the company to have their own links to pages on their website or their internet, actually, whilst people are within, say, the CDC. And we have co-branding to maintain your company image. So if you sign up with us and for employee benefits and any newsletters that go out and et cetera, and on the website itself has your company logo so that people think, you know, they know that it's, it's something that's been provided to them by you. And if you've got more than 50 employees, then we have an opportunity to totally white label the solution so that we don't appear our name on it at all. And it looks like it's just something internally for, for your business, if that's what you want. Um, once we've got all the people on board, then there's minimal extra admin. All the company has to do is let us know whenever somebody leaves or somebody joins. Um, obviously, somebody joins that we can now onboard them. Um, somebody leaving so that we can make sure they get whatever cash back they've built up because normally we say you have to have 25 pounds of cash back before you can withdraw but obviously if you've built up a fiver of cash back and you leave the company then we'll pay you the, the five pounds of cash back that you've built up um, so you know we, we aim to be as fair as we can on that and this is something else that, that we allow people to specify a percentage of their cash back that they want to give to a charity and it can either be a company-wide charity or it can be individual charities per employee which doesn't matter to us as long as the charity is registered with the charity commission then we can set this up so that it's done that the donate to charity but for a company we encourage the company to select a charity or a couple of charities that they want their employees to give to because it's then a win-win-win 
because the employee feels good because they, they donate to charity without it actually costing them anything out of their pocket. The company, likewise, um, is in the situation where hopefully at the end of the year they're, they're able to present a cheque to the charity for maybe £500, £1,000, maybe several thousand pounds, depending on how much cash back your, your employees have built up. But there's a big PR opportunity there, obviously, for the company. Now, I'm going to be totally honest here in this group and say, you know, we're not totally altruistic. It is a good publicity thing for us there too, of course. Um, but we, we like this idea that we think it's a way that a company can build up a lot of money to go to charity without actually trusting their employees or the company itself, really anything. Um, so what does it cost to have employees signed up on this? Um, we're currently charging £25 sign-up fee per employee because it's the onboarding that actually involves a lot of labour element from, from our side. Um, and then after that, it's just £5 per month per employee. Um, all those figures excluding VAT, but we believe it provides a really cost-effective employee benefits programme. And we are looking at doing some other things, I should say, as well, Deb. We, we're currently talking to... Um, a couple of financial services companies about things that they can provide. And we're also talking to um, HelloFresh about providing uh, meal suggested menus every day, which can appear on, on the site and for your employees. It's just an extra added thing, totally free, but it will be there. So how does it all happen? Well, we sign contracts with, with the company, with the employer. They pay the sign up fee. They provide us with a file containing the employee names and the contact details and their logo and anything else that we need to co-brand the, the, the site. We onboard the employees for them. And then on a mutually agreed date, we launch. Um, and it, hopefully it all goes smoothly. And we um, work we only, we only got one company currently that has launched. As I say, we've been beta testing, but... Um, we're hoping, obviously, as the year goes on, to build that up to a reasonable number of companies. Um, so any company, really, that you know, who might benefit from this, please do put me in touch with them. Um, and with that, I'd say I'll stop sharing and take any questions. Keith, I've got a question. Um, I know a long time ago we talked to, from the original site about... Um, where somebody can actually go on and uh, and look around. Yes, you um, can do that now. Can you do that now? Yeah, from from the model. So yeah. you can put links and you can give us links about how we can have a look around and see what sort of people are on there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and obviously for the larger corporate companies, they can do that as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, Helen's got a question. What happens if you don't have employees? If you just stay your own self and almost that, that's fine. I mean, I mean, we, yeah, that's fine, Helen. We've always been aimed at that. So, so yeah, small business to sign up for themselves just as the business, um, and and get the cash back. So yeah, that 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 that's perfectly doable. In fact, that's the way the system was originally designed. Um, as I say employee benefits came on top of that because we, we suddenly had somebody said, "Oh, we like this, but actually we'd like our employees to benefit." The other thing, by the way, is we've had we've had one company uh, who I say we've been beta testing with, and they've actually also come back to us, and it's something we're not currently there, but but we're drawing the development plan is for the company to be able to top up the cash back because what they wanted to do was to be able to say, okay, if an employee builds up twenty five pounds in cash back, we we'd want to give them five pound bonus in cash back on 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 top of that, um, and. Yeah, we're we're finding a way to make that work at the moment. So that's um yeah, again, say something that we're interested in. And you know, it's, it's one of the benefits we've got at the moment, I think, is because we are being fairly agile in our development, then anything that people want, hopefully we can we can squeeze it in. Jace. It's probably a really silly question. Um so, so obviously you want businesses to, to log on to offer their services that's a no-brainer yeah but when you have um business employees just log on to use the services at all yes yeah, just numbers of people they don't have to be one of the people that provide the services on there no no oh right okay cool cool yeah any any more questions 
I mean, as Kate's put on there, yeah, it's come from for me, its inception, it's grown so much now, and it's uh, it's almost like an, an intranet service that some of the larger company be- companies have for benefits. So, uh, good luck with that, Keith. And um, if anybody wants to have, get more information about uh, Save with CDC, book a one to one with Keith. Okay. I think I'm sure he'd like the, he'd show you around it uh, a bit more, Jason. Just quickly, do you have any trades on there? Um. No, not really at the moment. But be interested in talking to some if you know if you if you know some. Yes. Yeah, because the, the price of wood, glass, all that sort of stuff's gone up, so you'd be really interested. Mm. Cool. Look at you being all entrepreneurial. <laughs> <laughs> His brain's <laughs> ticking round. Okay, Keith, thank you very much for that, and uh, yeah, look forward to seeing how that develops.